stop. I thought you were going into their driveway. Why would I do that? I'm going to use it as my thumbnail. That will be the thumbnail, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Ammon and today I'm doing Erin's final driving lesson <laughs> before the uh, test. Uh, 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 uh. How are you feeling Erin? We have the test in a few days to come. So it probably won't be my last driving lesson. <laughs> oh, shut it, you. No, the aim is to be done with driving lessons, and that's that, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully everything goes well. Yeah. But um, if not, we'll find out what we need to work on going forward. But mm -hmm. we're going to give it our all. Yeah. So this is your last driving lesson, and we've just been driving around working on everything from last lesson, which was the roundabouts. If mm -hmm. you haven't seen that video already, guys, I'm going to link that up here where we did a bit of work. It was a mock test, wasn't it? It was. And then we worked on the issues today. So we're gonna go for another mock test. Yeah, and hopefully I don't fail this one as badly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it, definitely. Okay, so, um, okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna get started, but before we do, I am gonna ask you a question about your vehicle. Could you tell me where would you find the information for the recommended tire pressure and how do you check this? No, I could not tell you that. This makes it look so bad. It makes it look like I teach you nothing. <laughs> Literally. But I am going to fail that question. I don't mind. I will get a minor. Okay, it. just listen to the question. Um, if you walked into a random car, yeah. where would you find the information for the recommended tire pressure? In that oh, car. just look it up on Google. Okay, fine. But let's say you didn't have Google. It's the olden times. Yeah. Where are you going to find the information for how much tire pressure you need for this specific car? On the tire. Okay, fine. But where else? In the bonnet. <laughs> I don't know. In the boot. Maybe you're too. Maybe too, you're too young for this. But every car has a manual. Oh, in the car manual. Oh. There yeah, you go. Yeah. That would make sense, right? I hope they asked me that question. Because now she knows it. Yeah. Okay, all right, we're going to get started. Oh. Um, when you're ready, let's get driving. I'm not helping you. What was the one you asked me yesterday as well? The brakes, if the, if the brakes oh, are Oh, yeah, did I get that wrong? You got it right. But I got it right? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. No way. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> you just text, text, test the brakes. Yeah. And see if there's pressure. Exactly. You just have to, even if you don't know the answer, just just, just literally think about what they're actually asking yeah. you. It's going to be on the car somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If they okay. say, is the steering wheel working? How do you know if the steering wheel's working? I did send her a video of the show me, tell me questions. I'll link it up here, guys. But she should have seen it by now. But clearly she hasn't. <laughs> and now I know how to demist the front of the car as well. I have gone through this stuff. This is not it's new information. Button, right? Okay, yes. All right, at the end of this road, I'd like you to turn right, please. I thought you were going into their driveway. Why would I do that? Ahead of us is an example of when you may actually need to use the horn to alert others of your presence. There is a truck from the left hand side who's reversing into the main road. Now as they can't see you, you may need to use the horn to alert them that you're approaching. In this case, as the truck got closer to the road, they could actually see us so they slowed down anyways. But if they can't see you, definitely use the horn and be prepared to slow down. Can you fail for 
speeding if we're going like 23. Depends where you do it. But most likely, yeah, because it's a test. At the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, it's the third exit. What roundabout? You can always look at the sat nav to see what roundabout. Ah, yes. Oh, it's upcoming. And I'm taking the third exit. Yes. Most big roundabouts, when you're making a right turn, which is after 12 o'clock, you want to start in the right-hand lane unless road marking state otherwise. So at this point, Erin was speeding up and checking her mirrors, but she simply wasn't switching lanes. You want to try and switch lanes nice and early so that you're better prepared for the roundabout. Now we have started the roundabout in the wrong lane. This lane goes straight ahead, it does not turn right. As we're going round the roundabout, Erin realises she is heading the wrong way, but she deals with this calmly by simply continuing straight ahead. It's always better to go the wrong way than to try and suddenly switch lanes. We're going to take the first exit this time, yeah. Exit. I hope my indicator is still on that whole time. So I'd like you to move into the right hand lane. Should I indicate here? Whatever you think is safe. Yeah. And this time at the roundabout, Erin, I'd like you to go straight ahead, second exit.
we're doing now. Just driving until we get home. Yeah. When you do a front bay park, is it here? We'll talk about it later. Forward is here. Reverse is here. You just use this silver handle, front, back. Yeah. Why are you standing in the middle of the road? Traffic lights turn right, please. I'd like you to take the third exit towards Greenford. It's the B455. Third exit? Yeah. It's the green for the exit, yeah? As we're coming off the roundabout, we're now entering a 20 miles per hour zone and Erin is still exceeding the speed limit. She's still driving up to about 25 miles per hour, well after the signs. This was a borderline serious fault as the road ahead was clear, but she does realise and does bring the speed back down. Had this continued, it would have gone down as a serious fault. And if you could just pull it and park up on the left hand side of the road please. Okay, 
Okay, so shortly what I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. As you're driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe. You're going to see me looking around like this. And then I'm going to give you this signal, stop. So I want you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible, but wait for my signal before you carry out the stop. I will make sure it's clear before I give you that signal. Okay? Drive off whenever you're ready. With the emergency stop, you want to brake firm so that you can stop as quickly as possible and it will be a sharp brake. Stop. I'm going to get you to do that again whenever you're ready. Let's drive off. Erin's first attempt was too light on the brake considering it's an emergency stop. Now your examiner might give you a lifeline by saying, I'm going to get you to do that again. Remember to brake firm so that you can stop quickly. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Drive off again. I'm not going to get you to do that again. Now, if we could turn left just in here, please. And then left again. Okay, Erin, what I want you to do is to go forward into a space of your choice. Make sure you finish within the lines of the parking bay. The lines are slightly faded, they're yellow bricks, so they're harder to see, but forward park into a space of your choice. You happy to leave it there? I don't. Is that those yellow bricks? If you can see yellow bricks, then they're the ones because there's only. I think I'm happy to leave it there. Thank you. Secure the car. Should I go? Oh, secure the car. How you doing? Okay. I'm tired. You're tired. <laughs> it's been a long morning. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go over that. Would you say there were any serious bits? that drive? Uh, yeah. What was serious? Um, probably all of the roundabouts. Okay, well on the first one you went the wrong way, right? Yeah. But you did so safely. That's, that's not a serious That's problem. not a serious. You went the wrong way, but you did so safely. The next one, um, you did that right turn, you were counting out loud. That was really well done. So the second time we did that roundabout to go straight ahead again, that was really nice position. Like on every single time when you entered these roundabouts, great observation and great positioning, speed, everything. I can't fault you. Your position was great on every single roundabout. Yeah. Mirror checks, I'm really happy with. Even when we did yeah. this last roundabout, we went Greenford, third exit. Yeah. Really nicely done. Mirror checks on point, positioning on point, everything. Um, there's a few bits. You're gonna be, you're gonna kick yourself with the serious fault I'm gonna give you. What? Do you remember the emergency stop? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to check my lights were after. Well, you checked one side, didn't you? Yeah, but you have to check both. You sides. have to check both sides. So I didn't like it. It wasn't a serious fault. It was definitely a minor fault. What? Because on the left hand side there was like a pavement, but there was like trees. Yeah. There's nothing potentially from that side that can come in. Yeah. So you should have just checked, but it's not a serious fault. Yeah. But I did give you one series with your emergency stop, which was the control, like the, the actual stop. What? Why do you think I told you to do it again the second time? I don't know. If a child comes running in front of you and you stop like that, do you think you're going to save that child? Yeah, for a radio. You don't think you could have braked a bit quicker? No, probably. Yeah, the brake was too light considering it's supposed uh, to be an emergency. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah? You just needed to go a bit quicker on that. That's it. That's why I said I'm going to get you to do it again. Oh, okay. Because the first time wasn't good enough. Okay. Bay Park here is really nice. Really You're in the bay. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, when we came off that last roundabout, it's 20 zone in front. You can see it says 20. You're still 25 for a little while yeah, after it. I, yeah. That was borderline there for me. Mm. Yeah. So overall, not bad. It's a lot yeah. better, but we just got to keep pushing now. That's it. Yeah. You got to be a bit more strict with yourself, with the checks, with the um, observation, with that stop. Yeah. with your manoeuvres, all of it, but well done, okay? Mm -hmm. All right guys, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully that's been useful and um, I've got a, hopefully a good feeling for, what am I saying? Blah, 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 blah. I'm getting tired now as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a good feeling for um, the test day now. Must be nice because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shut <laughs> it. No, come on, you know you can do it. If you think about how our last lesson went, and then we worked on all of those issues and now you're a lot clearer on your position on these roundabouts, aren't you? Kind of. Yeah, I am. Actually. Yeah, and then when you went into the roundabout, even though you went the wrong way, you did so safely. Yeah. And you didn't panic and you didn't try and change lanes, so that was really good. And on these roundabouts, you're actually checking your mirrors more instinctively. You're not waiting for me to kind of give you the little nudge or anything. You're just checking them and I like that, that's good. Yeah. That's all you need to be doing, you're able to now drive without me needing to guide you. I think you've just got that voice in your head now. Yeah. That's all you needed. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully it's been useful for you guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe and select that bell icon if you haven't already. But it's been a long morning. Erin needs her uh, breakfast and bed. It's bed. <laughs> I'm wearing my pajamas underneath. Oh my God. So that I can get straight back into bed when I go. Want to be telling this? 